Hello everyone, Dave Brambert here with Fifth Wave Manufacturing. We are at the Amada uh, Tech Center here in Schaumburg, Illinois, and we have a, a new press break we're going to look at today. We're going to bend some metal. We're going to take a look at some of the automated uh, features and electric features and control features in this new product. And uh, with us, we have uh, Mr. Yusa Kanazawa. Yes. Very nice to have you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We appreciate your time today. And uh, he's going to take us through an introduction to the press brake and take it away, Yusa. Oh, yes. So the machine behind us is our new EGV 6020 AE, which A stands for the ATC and E stands for our new, um, new control, the 4IE system. Okay. And we have four E's, which is um, easy, efficient, environmental, and uh, evolutionary. Yeah, okay. And the 60 ton in, in metric, so it is 66 US tons, two meter for about six foot. Okay, that's true of all amount of press brakes, right? It's yes. always in metric tons. Exactly, yeah. sir. Or is it long tons or whatever it is? Yeah, it'll be, yeah. yeah metric tons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the two is for the two meter, right? Exactly, sir. 2.0 meters. Yeah, so a little over six feet there to work with. Mm -hmm. And okay. from from now on, this this is our electric press brake, so it uses a electric servos for the for tonnage. Okay, there's not a hydraulic drop and no this. hydraulic. Yeah. So okay. we we chose to use this electric um, servo because the maintenance will be way less and it will be more energy efficient as well. Yeah, and better for the uh, for the earth too. Exactly, yes. might be a fifty there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell us about the, these access panels here on top. Yeah, uh, you had one open a minute ago, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we can open it. Here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the actual electric servo that's in it, that's behind the cover, uh -huh. and this uses a clutch system. So it's one giant motor, but you can switch between the high speed mode mode and high torque mode. So whenever the ram is moving up and down to reach the material, mm -hmm. it's gonna go in fast piece, but um, whenever it's starting to put some tonnage on it, it will automatically switch into a high torque mode using a clutch system. Okay, and that's uh, that's done by like a clutch or is it a, like a ball? Uh, it's a, uh, it will be a clutch system. Yeah, okay, all right, good. And the same thing holds true up, up on the left side exactly. over there where that yeah, round same, light is. Yeah, same thing behind this cover yeah. as well. Okay, good, good, good. Um, and just before we, uh, we stop with the, um, with the introduction, uh, this is this is the ATC, and a lot of our viewers know about the ATC because we have some videos up there in our YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, but this looks different, but it looks like it might use the same basic operating principles. And I don't know, can you pull that open? Yes, of course. All right. Yeah, we can get a little bit better look there. Yes. So this is our the, DC. What do they call that? The shuttle right there? Um, the diesel, I'll, I'll say this is this will be a Dirac. For this 6020 ATC model, okay. we can have total of 15 punch rack on the top and 18 Dirac in the bottom. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Because it's a small ATC, the each rack is um, 500 millimeters opposing to 800 millimeters on the bigger models. So these two um, claws will get into this hole and bring move the tools left and right load and unload automatically also that, yep oh please is that slightly different uh finger uh link that's in there um no everything is no, the, same. the same yes okay. so because um people who already has the hg atc models yeah. can use the same tools that they have okay in their shops the dice will have only the front face but the punch you can have it um, or not the front, yeah, yeah, front yeah. mode or yeah. reverse it. Yes, that's okay. That's also possible. Okay. All right. And I can, we can kind of see the dies back there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this ATC, um, it can hold maximum of about 54 feet, but we also have one size bigger EGB ATC, which is EGB 1303 ATC. Oh, right. Yeah. That uh, has a bigger ATC. It will. It can have 18 punch racks and 25 die racks. Is it basically the same as the older ATC, or is it a bigger version of this one? Um, it will be a bigger version of this one. And okay. In our previous um, HG1003 ATC, yeah. we were able to put about 86 feet, but yeah. um, the new EGB that will have the 
um, the footprint is smaller, but we can have we can put more tools in it. It seems like this is a smaller footprint for sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, and then I also see the uh, you have the HMI here. Yes. This uh, this thing that says AMNC for IE. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us about this. This is one of the uh, I think probably the more popular features. Yes. Th this we start using this um, panel for from the EGV series, mm -hmm. um, it's, it comes with a smart operation package. So this machine has a camera integrated to see, um, to see what's on the, on the tools. Oh, uh, right. Yes, on live. You have the iCast camera? Yes, on, the top, um, behind, on top of the machine. Gotcha. Okay. So whenever we are trying to gauge the part, it will tell you where you are at and how you are supposed to gauge the part. Okay, great. Um, and then we'll uh, later on we'll we'll do a uh, segment just on that. Yes. Uh, and then I think the other thing was that you have a, a, a uh, an enhanced version of the back gauge, right? Yes. So yeah. we, we see here this is also starting from the EGB series that we're going to have a three three back gauges instead of two from the other series. Okay. The benefit of having three back gauge are are um, there's a lot of benefits that you can use two baggage for our normal bag like we've been using so far, and we can use additional to use as a side gauge. So every single time we can have a zero zero position while we're bending the part. Ah, uh, gotcha. Also, it's especially nice when you have a part that has a tapered edge where the bend line is not parallel to the edge. Mm -hmm. In that case, the baggage will have a three point that will make the operator easy to um, gauge the part. And we, I can show you when we're doing one of the examples. Good, okay. So um, I think that's probably a good intro to the product, unless you have, do you have something else for us? Or? Um, I will say the bend indicator. It, um, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. The bend indicator over here. Um, let's see if I- Get a shot of it. Yeah, let's see if I can. Can you bring it out maybe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is the BIS-2, correct? Yes, this is a BIS-2, that is correct, sir. Okay. That made the camera less. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Not the first time we've done it. <laughs> okay, so, so. Yes, the device that we see here is the BIS-2. So it is different than our old models. In our old old BIS one, we had a small pin that's right. that's gonna be touching, or it's gonna come darkly up. But from now on, we're gonna have this um, disc shape BIS. So we need this um, flange size to use the bend indicators. Okay. And like that's you good. see here, for the back edges, you can use Y one and Y two for the normal stop, and Y three for the side stop. I see, yeah. This ATC bolt has two bend indicators, one, the first one, and the second one. Okay, which is very, the other side. Yeah, which is very nice when we are bending very long part on the machine. True. When we are using the bend indicator, what we'll do is it will um, measure three points. Each bend indicator will go to the um, left and right. When we start bending it, either one will come to the center, come up, and checks the initial position, uh, um, initial angle of the part and goes back to either left or right and start doing the adjustments. Okay. And the crowning will be adjusted on the fly as well. Ah, okay. Hmm? Uh, here's, here's a stupid question number one for me. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, can you set those, let's say you want the bend to be steeper on the right than the left, can you set two different angles for the? Yes. Yeah? Oh. Mm -hmm. That is okay. possible. That is possible, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. And we'll get into that mm -hmm. uh, as we get into the uh, the actions part of the uh, demo. Yes. And it all goes home. So, uh, with that, we will uh, we'll be back. And the the next step is what will we do? We're we going to do a bend, or yes, um, I'll I'll scan. The, the, the setup sheet with okay. this machine, and we can do the 
um, tool change okay. and, and depart from there. Perfect. Okay, so we'll see you in just a moment.